Well, earlier this week, we told you about several testing sites in Sacramento County shutting down because of a supply shortage. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf with the plans to get those sites back open and add five new sites. They just keep lining up a never ending stream of people who want to put their mind at ease. We see the rising numbers um, recently. This couple exposed to someone who tested positive for COVID 19. We heard sort of through the grapevine. <laughs> it was a family member that tested positive, so they let us know we had seen them. Um, we ate outside and we're careful, but we we're just being ultra cautious. Getting a COVID test wasn't easy. It took um, several days to get in, so I think we were started calling around Monday, and this was the first appointment we could get. That's because of a nationwide shortage of testing kits and lab space. And when a company wouldn't provide chemicals for test kits, it forced the Sacramento County Health Department to close five local testing sites. Dr. Peter Bielenson says they will reopen next week if the county can complete a deal to provide more tests. It'll be a combination of the existing partnership with UC Davis and an additional partnership with the lab. It would be paid for with more than a million and a half in funding already in place. That money would also be used to open five new testing sites. Two or three of them are probably going to be North Highlands and Rancho Cordova, but we do not know for sure yet. The National Guard will operate the reopened sites for several more weeks, but Bielenson says the county needs to find a long term solution and more money. We're hopeful, but we're not depending on it. In the short term, he says the county cannot rely on nationwide test kits or lab space, which is already at capacity. So we're going outside of the big commercial labs and outside of the, the feds to, um, to come up with our own solution.